What's up guys, today we're talking about running shoes for flat feet. We're gonna talk about why those feet are potentially flat in the first place, um, what a shoe is supposed to do for us, how much support is supposed to give us, as well as things we can do to actually build the strength in our feet ourselves. So when it comes to shoes, we have to remember the initial purpose these guys served. And the biggest thing was protection of our feet and really warmth at the end of the day. If I was on a rocky trail, uh, or if it was really, really cold, I had something to protect my feet. Well, over the years, what's happened is that we have spent more and more time in shoes for longer periods of time that our feet have never gotten the actual opportunity to get a little bit stronger and a little rough and a little rugged. So a lot of times when we find ourselves in the flat-footed category, it really just means that we're that person who hasn't really given their feet that full chance to develop. So it's important to think about when we're trying to go for shoes, what's the purpose of the shoe and really what it's trying to do. We want that warmth, we want that protection, and if we are on that flat-footed person, or really most people these days, we do need some sort of support. But it's just important to remember, hey, what's the big picture here? What are my shoes trying to do? And uh, how can I sort of think about this thing? Now, what are shoes trying to solve? How do they try to help a flat-footed person? Well, one of the things they do is they provide some level of cushioning down below, right? Some shoes have uh, uh, a higher heel versus a lower heel versus the forefoot. Uh, and then they also have something in the arch support right in this part of the shoe. The, sometimes they call that a medial post, how thick this part of the shoe is. And we're talking about flat feet. It usually means that the arch has collapsed a little bit. That's usually what's going on. So when we talk about finding the right amount of support, especially for a flat-footed individual, what we're really talking about is how much arch support occurs. Now, what we want to do is we want to find a shoe that gives us enough support to, prov to have good mechanics, but also not so much support that all of a sudden our feet aren't working for us at all anymore. Because what happens is this, our foot actually acts as like a natural little spring and shock absorber. It's not the cushioning of the shoe that really does the job, it's actually this, this foot. And if I stand up for a second, you know, every time I go to the ground, there's a moment where this foot rolls in a little bit and that's this pronation that is actually very natural and helps our whole body absorb whatever shock we're trying to do. If I put something underneath this, I make the system very rigid and I actually run into problems. So what I want is a shoe that basically has enough support so I don't collapse all the way, but not too much that makes this system so rigid that it's actually gonna cause other types of problem which we see all the time. Now, if I am getting ready for that race and I need that shoe that's gonna give me the support, and maybe you're someone who needs an orthotic or if you've never had an orthotic, that's an additional arch support in your shoe, usually created by a podiatrist to, to, who's looked at your gait and figured out you know, what's going on, how can I sort of help you there. But the problem is this, most people when they go see a podiatrist for orthotic, it's usually an emergency situation. They didn't wake up one day and they're like, oh, it's a nice day, it's sunny, I'm gonna go visit my podiatrist today. It's usually like a, oh crap, it's three weeks before my race and my foot's in pain and I need to survive this race. Doc, can you help me out? And they do, but then I'm in this uh, orthotic the rest of my life. It goes from my sneakers to my business shoes to my everyday shoes to I'm wearing them all the time and I'm afraid to actually step barefoot anymore. So we need to break that cycle and we actually need to spend some time in shoes that are less supportive in conditions that aren't going to bother us too much. And that's something we could actually do to build our feet up. So a shoe like this is pretty flexy. I wouldn't run long distance in this shoe, but it's a nice shoe to do a strength workout or cross training workout in just to walk around and run errands. And of course, if I'm in the house, I actually might be barefoot or just in socks because when my foot interacts with the ground, I have no support. All the muscles, tendons, and ligaments supporting the foot and the ankle have to work that little extra bit. And that's actually gonna give them that strength they really need to, to be strong feet. Some additional things I can think about for strengthening my feet are this. I'm gonna stand up, you're gonna lose me but see my feet. As I stand up tall, when I think about really good posture, I wanna think about squeezing my belly and my butt a little bit. And what I'm actually gonna do is very lightly screw my feet into the ground. This is a little trick from one of our 
uh, physical therapist friends, Dr. Kelly Starrett, and one of the things that's cool is that when I actually screw my foot into the ground a little bit, my arch picks up off the ground. If my knee collapses in, my whole foot collapses in. So this is the antithesis of the situation we're looking for. But if I can go here, this arch picks up off the ground naturally, so all of a sudden, I become slightly less flat-footed just by thinking about my hips, my standing, and everything else. That makes a huge difference in what I can do. Some other fantastic things would just be some barefoot jumping. I could do some jumping here. I could do some jumping on one foot. And uh, if I had a jump rope and everything else, all of a sudden I could get a jump rope in there and uh, really start to work on some barefoot drills. That's such a great way to do it. And of course, I'm outside uh, in the grass. If I want to do any running barefoot as well, that's great too. But I just want to think about expanding my brain, not protecting my feet like these fragile things, but showing them a little tough love and uh, allowing them to uh, toughen up a little bit, give them that strength they need. And that's going to actually get me out of those more supportive shoes, it's gonna make me less flat-footed, it's gonna make me a longer, happier runner. Guys, one more thing for you. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and let us know. Hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions on those flat feet and shoes and what you can do, hit us up in the comments. Definitely subscribe to our channel at The Run Experience. We've got so many great videos around you know, shoes, around run strength, around run tips and drills, everything you need to do to be a better runner. All you need to do to get it is hit that subscribe button. And finally, we've got this two weeks of free training we wanna give you all around how to run better, on how to be stronger, and how to prevent injuries with some great mobility challenges. Two weeks free training, all you need to do to get it is click this link in this video. If you happen to be on a mobile device, don't worry, all you need to do is click the link down in the description. It's gonna take you to a page where once you're there, you just need to enter your name and your email, and I'll be able to personally send you a two weeks of free training on the road to being a better runner. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one.